Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So tonight I am going to do a ghost swipe, but I have new paints I've never used before. I brought some of these Folkart Treasured Gold. Um, so I got, uh, what is this one called? Blue Quartz and Light Amethyst. So I wanted to see how these looked um, before I went and brought more colours of them because they weren't too cheap for the pr um, for the size of them. But if they work out really well, then you don't mind. So I just wanted to test them out and see what they were like. So I just put them away for now. So they look really cool. And I've also got uh, running out of space to put things here. I also am using some Extreme Sheen in Pearl. So I've mixed these up. Now, the Treasured Gold, they were they were relatively thinnish paints. So I've mixed them up one and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint. So that's the, tre um, the Amethyst one and this is the Blue Quartz. And the Extreme Sheen, I've done my normal mixture, which is one-to-one. -one. So this pearl is one part paint to one part um, flow troll. Which I'm not sure if this is actually a little bit thicker than the other two. I won't know till I start pouring them onto the canvas and see what they look like. But there's the three colours. And I'm using a black background, which is my Montmartre. <clears throat> one part paint to four parts flow troll. So this is 35 grams paint and 140 grams flow troll. So first of all, I'm going to cover the canvas in the black. Then I'm going to pour these over and um, do my swap, my ghost wipes. So put these aside so I don't drip any black in them while I do the base coat. But I'm um, best to pause this and then come back once it's covered. So what I do is I pour the paint on, leaving a little bit left in the cup just in case of emergencies, in case I need to fix anything. I use my palette knife to spread it around and then I tip it in, and tilt it until it goes over the edges and then try to make it so it's nice and even and then I'll be back. So won't be too long. Okay, I'm back. So, I put the black on, I spread it around, and then I tilted until I've got this nice, even surface. So, I am actually going to give a quick little torch, just to make sure I've got all the bubbles out. This is an optional step. Okay, cool. I just find sometimes when a bubble pops and it shows the white underneath, um, I wanted to make sure that wasn't going to happen. So I'm going to get my swipe paper towel ready. There we go. Now my colours. So I just have to work out which order I want to do these in. I have a feeling because I don't know how these are going to go. I don't know if these are going to create cells or pearls or lacing or I'm not really too sure what this um, treasured gold um, paint's going to do. So I'm just going to do what I normally do because <clears throat> this is a test run. So I'm going to go off the canvas, go on and do my normal wavy line. Oh, it looks stunning. I'm actually really, really happy with how this is looking. Now I'm going to go the amethyst. So you always start off the canvas and then come back onto the can, I mean, and start off and go off. That way you don't get a heavy dollop as soon as it comes down. 
which does happen. And sometimes you also got to be careful you don't make the paint too heavy at one end compared to the other. So always make extra paint. You can always put a lid on it and use it another time. Now, this is the pearl. So all I wanted to do with the pearl was add some lighter colour to it because it's got the black background. I wanted to try this on a black instead of a white like I normally do. Um, just for something a little bit different. Now, I've got my swipe cards which are paint cards, paint display cards cut into the shape or size that I want. I wanted it this thickness. Um, you can cut them any just thickness that you want. I just find these are quite easy to use. They're light, flexible, and just really I just throw them away once they're useless. But you could use bits of plastic cut up. I am going to try that soon. So now, what I want to do is grab half of this paint, pull it towards me in a swiping motion, and then lift. I don't want to do it super fast because I find it skips. Um, and when you when you do your first one, just put your card slightly over the edge so you get all the way to the edge. And don't push. The edges are the hardest because that's where the piece of wood is just underneath the canvas. If you push too hard, you will push down to the canvas and it will look a little bit funny there. So you just put it on. Give it a drag and lift. And I'm getting cells. Put it on, drag, and lift. And wipe your card each time. So I always try and get at the same line that I grabbed from. You don't want to grab from too many different air, um, like alternate this too much. Drag and swipe. And I lift my card different directions at different times. Um, I try and make these slightly different lengths. It doesn't matter if you go similar length. Just try to keep it balanced a little bit. I like to give it these um, pointy tips. It's just a matter of going along, doing the same thing, lifting the card up. So that's getting a little bit, a little bit bendy at that end now. So I'm going to turn it around and use the other end. Where I'm getting most of the cells is actually in the black, where the colour is pushing through into the black. It's creating those nice cool cells. And just keep moving all the way along. So I can see it quite shimmery, so I think that these will um, dry quite quite nice. Now, because my card didn't go all the way to the edge, just lightly do it, but again, don't push hard because it's the edge. <coughs> Now that card is a bit too soggy, so that's going away, and we get a fresh one. I might get a fresh swipe paper towel as well. But I'm getting really cool cells coming up. That one didn't, but it doesn't matter if one doesn't. 
I don't want to mess it up by trying to re-swipe that because it will look different to the rest because it's only been swiped once. Now I just have to pick the canvas up. I can't swipe away from me. I can only swipe towards me. It's a bit of my coordination having issues. Are we in camera folk screen again now that I've turned it? Yeah, we are. But these paints are actually really pretty. So the good thing is, now that I know they work, <clears throat> pardon me, and they work at this consistency, now I can play around with them a little bit more and try different things. So that is the main thing that you just have to do is, I know how to do ghost swipes and I know that they work. So when I get new paints, if I test them on a ghost swipe, I can actually learn a lot of behavior about that paint. I can tell if it's going to do lace because my, my float troll is always Australian float troll. So I can tell if it's going to give me lacing or cells or what it's going to do and how it's going to behave. If it's going to sink or float on top. I don't know how it would go doing a pearl pour. Um, I think it was a little bit pricey that I don't know if I want to test it out just yet. But probably something I will try in the future. Now we're on this side. What you have to do is grab from where you grabbed before so there's not a solid bit of paint in the middle and again go slightly off the canvas grab and swipe and this is about it all you have to do is just continue to do what you were doing before just on this other side of the canvas grab and swipe. So I wasn't sure whether I should have used pearl or what colour to use. I was hoping being Extreme Sheen it would actually create a little bit more effects. I don't think it is. The pearl's a very funny one in the Extreme Sheen. Doesn't behave the same way as a lot of the others I, from my experience. That one I decided to go all the way off, just to give it something a little bit different. Probably should try and do a little shorter one. These um, treasured golds actually have really, really nice colouring in them. Quite pleased. And that's the thing, you don't always see, I have never seen these in the shops. I've only ever seen these online. So I can't even judge by looking at them. I had to buy some to test them. And now that I've tested one or two colours, I like them enough for me to go out and actually get others. So that is the advantage of just getting a new paint and seeing how it works. Seeing if you actually like the way that it moves or not. So this swipe card is probably would have changed it if I'm not at my last swipe. But again, just go easy with this one. Always be cautious with the ends, especially the last end, because that could be the last part of your picture and you could ruin it just by making one mistake there. Okay. So I'm really pleased with this. I am wondering one thing. I am going to grab one of my smaller swipe cards. I'm going to position myself over here. And I am going to swipe this again. It's 
one little spot just to see if I do get any yeah see how I got a couple of cells come up I did feel because every other spot got cells but that one I felt it was a little bit lonely and I would have noticed it forever um, other people might not have, but I would have, and I think that was something I had to fix. Now, I did slightly touch the canvas here with my knuckle. There we go. Just had to put a little bit of paint there because I'm... Um, I'd knocked it with my little, little finger knuckle when I went past and did that swipe. Excellent. Wonderful. Sorry, I'm clapping to myself. <laughs> so, sometimes your pictures don't have to be perfect, especially when you're doing a test run. But I'm really happy enough with this. And I think it's going to dry even more awesome than what I, what I can see now. So, Fog Art Treasured Gold. So, quite different paint to what I was expecting. Um, it... It had a different feel about it, um, even while scooping it out of the bottle. It felt very, um, it felt glossy. I, I don't know if that's actually uh, a really accurate way of describing it, but it just had that really smoothness about it. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I, I love blue and I love purple. So they're the colors I decided to buy first. Um, now I'll probably go back and see if I can get some of the, the golds and the silver and rose gold. I think they would be a little bit of a good um, accent piece. This would probably be quite nice if I did actually have the gold as well. But I don't ever worry. I just think of the future and not worry about what I've done. Um, but in saying that, this is really cool. These cells have come up really, really nicely. So they haven't gone um crazy like when you use extreme sheen the cells can just kind of go quite out of shape um just because they keep growing and growing and growing these ones don't look like they're going to continue to grow they look like they've just given me nice effects i've got nice shimmer all the way down where as long as where i have paint it looks shimmery and shiny and i'm hoping that when it dries that's going to be even more noticeable. But this is it. So Folkart treasured gold paint doing a ghost swipe on a black background. Super happy. Um, and yeah, I do have that pearl in there. The pearl hasn't really done very much apart from add an extra color. Um, so it wasn't just plain black, blue and purple. So I am going to get the camera and bring you down for a close up. Okay, so there we go. Um, see if I can turn this light off. It's there. That's better. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? So the cells aren't really all over the place. They are quite defined in their little spots, but let's have a close up. There we go. Look at them. Really, really pretty cells. They've come up kind of in every area where the color has gone deep into the black. And I'm glad that the Extreme Sheen Pearl didn't really react too badly. Because um, sometimes the Extreme Sheen just, it can be frustrating because you don't always know what effects you're going to get. But really, really happy with the way that this turned out. Where are we? Yeah. So that's the start, going along most of the painting where the one side has swiped blue, the other side has swiped the um, purple or the amethyst. So it kind of gives it that back and forthy look like purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue, kind of swap sides each time. That's because I do the zigzags. You can alter that by the closeness of your zigzags or the size of your swipe card. So keep that in mind. But this is the end result and I'm super happy. 
So thanks everyone. Um, try it out yourself, see what you think, and hopefully um, I get to see cool lightworks like similar to this that other people do. I love seeing what other people do because we all have our own little spin on the way that we do things. And I don't mind if people recreate this exactly or if they want to recreate it in their own way because that's what I actually like to see is how everyone's got their own little style and um, tweak to it that's theirs. So, like normal, um, give me a comment. Tell me if you think these paints have actually worked out really well. Um, like the video. Um, share it if you think this is awesome and others would like to see it. Click the share button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it's free and it just helps me grow my channel. And I appreciate everyone that has actually um, subscribed and leaves comments and likes. I'm trying to get to everything. Um, running out of time. But yeah. Thanks everyone, have a great evening and I'll see you soon for another pour. Okay, bye.